Texas News Storm Team. 514 here on your Friday morning and uh, it's uh, pretty nice out there already. I mean, yeah. a little cool. You said it's going to get windier later, but yeah, well, it's already windy out to the west. So we'll see yeah. here in a second, but they had a wind gust up to 45 miles per hour already out in mm. Williston. So it's windy yeah, and then you add uh, the fire dangers yeah. Yeah. with that We're so. pretty dry. So yeah. luckily we won't be as dry the next couple days. There's still a chance some moisture is down to the south could get pulled in. Good, because just... my hair has been staticky <laughs> like crazy. I need it. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll start this off on our weather alerts. We do have that fire weather warning slash red flag warning uh, throughout much of the counties in the state that starts at 12 p.m. Central Daylight Time goes up until 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time with that again relative humidity is down to as low as 20 percent winds up to 50 miles per hour possible so if a fire does start could spread very easily so maybe just avoid anything that could start the fire today just be very careful also have this wind advisory that's sort of behind the fire weather warning that's up until uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time again those winds up to 50 miles per hour in areas out excuse me in areas out to the west satellite and radar shows us a relatively cloudy sky starting to really build itself just got this cloud cover but should have plenty of sun over the next few hours or once we get to sunrise and it'll be in and out throughout the day it's not gonna be totally overcast but not gonna be totally blue skies either uh, temperatures right now you got 20s 30s 40s even getting close maybe to the mid 40s upper 40s out here to the west in eastern montana again the warmer area of the state is definitely watford city west as we get through the day but a little bit closer for this afternoon when it comes to our highs now wind speeds and directions five to let's go 30 miles per hour all from the southeast and a little bit heavier out there to the west when we look at our wind gusts currently we can see Dickinson 35 Williston at 39 beach at 44 so these wind gusts will continue to increase and be noticeable across much of the state for the day we look at our wind gust forecast and we see that our heaviest wind gusts are out there to the west we'll stay out there throughout much of the day with winds in much of the state 30 to 35 in these areas are a little bit lower and then tomorrow morning that wind widespreads across all of the state. So we just got a windy weekend to start. Should start to calm down by the time we get to Sunday, but still a noticeable breeze through Sunday into Monday. Your absolute comfort plumbing and heating winter report. Teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, really similar to our air temperatures. There may be a little bit of an impact in the central portion of the state, but again, by this afternoon, even with the heavy winds, our highs are warm enough where there won't be much there because our highs again are 50s, 60s. There will be a few 70s out there to the west, and there's a chance our temperatures do rise a little more. There's some warm air along that could reach the surface and that would warm us up a little bit more. Now, precision cast does show we got some light cloud cover. We got some light rain chances, but more rain chances start to uh, come in as we get over the weekend. Now, uh, pretty scattered on Saturday, get more consistent on Sunday, and the system has shifted a little farther south. That means those rain chances up to the north have sort of, sort of gone away. Uh, we get more chances Monday, but even up to the northwest, you pretty much look to be a minimal chance uh, through the weekend for that rain. We'll start to move out to Tuesday, we should have a dry Tuesday into Wednesday and really for most of next week. Your Williston five day forecast 60s a day, 50s tomorrow, drop to the 40s by Sunday. You stay in the 50s for the start of next week. Dickinson 60s a day, 50s tomorrow, 40s on Sunday, and then you got 40s and 50s as we start next week. Your Minot seven day forecast. Well, that's got us in the 60s the next two days, 40s on Sunday, but recover pretty quickly. A mix of 50s and 60s as we get through next week. Bismarck, it's more of the same 60s the next two days, drop to the 40s with that rain on Sunday and Monday, 60s back through mid next week. Should we take bets on the first day we'll see the 70s? You think? No. No, why not? Because. Because. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to take all your money. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no I think I think by, by, by May we could see maybe some. I mean, I'm no expert. I, I would say probably by the end of next week there's going to be some chances. So I'm yeah. not going to. You mentioned a possible yeah. 70. So. Yeah. Wow. All right. Of course. I'll, see, I'm I knew I would win that bet. I sure, I'm sure you did. <laughs> I listened to Stone. Oh, well, I do too. 100%. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Proved otherwise oh, this morning. Well, already. Yeah. <laughs> Still to come on good.